Welcome back folks, I'm C, and today we're taking a look at how to get a perfect starter. The first thing we do is we save right before entering the room. And some people say that you should take the test to see which Coromon you're most compatible with, and that will increase your chances of finding a potent Coromon. But I'm not sure how accurate that is or how much of an increased chance you get. But once you see all three of the starters pop up, you can look for a color variation to see if there are any potent Coromon or perfect Coromon. If you don't see any, you'll just reset the game, load up again until you see a potent or perfect starter. And I, after some time, I was able to find a potent Cub Zero. And so the standard starter has just white and light blue coloring, and the potent Cub Zero has a darker blue color. So that's the first step to seeing if you have a potent or standard Coromon. If you go to the details, you can see that Cub Zero is potent, and the other two, Taruga and Nibblegar, are standard. So no perfect Coromon this time, but this potent Cub Zero will do just a trick. Once we've selected our starter, you can go to the summary and see that the experience in blue, that's your potent experience, is 24. And that's the number that you want to look for, 24. This means that your Coromon has a potential value of 20, which is almost perfect because you need a potential value of 21 for perfect potency. Now, how do you get 21 potential value? You go to Donor Island and upstairs in the trainer hub, Oleg will take your starter for 500 gold and increase the potential value by one point and that will change potent to perfect. So I'm going to go around and after about 1000 steps, you can come back and collect your starter from Oleg and your potent starter will be perfect. So we have a 20 value to 21 and that's what we're looking for. And now our starter is perfect. So if we take a quick look, our starter isn't blue anymore, but pink. And we have the perfect logo, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, and I hope you all have the best of luck finding your potent slash perfect starter. Thank you folks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.